26th APRSC Philippines 2018 The Boy Scouts of the Philippines has announced the hosting of the 26th Asia Pacific Regional Scout Conference on October 15th to 20th, 2018 at the Philippine International Convention Center. The conference is a triennial event that gathers scout officials from national scout organizations, NSOs, representing 29 member countries in the Asia Pacific region. With the theme Growth and Stability, BSP National President Wendell E. Avisado said the event is one huge opportunity for all scout leaders in the Asia-Pacific region to meet and share their experiences and expertise on various topics and areas of common interest. They are the APR course for leader trainers on October 6th, 12th. The 9th of April Scout Youth Forum on October 9th to 12th and Chief Scout Executives meet on October 13th. BSP Secretary General Rogelio S. Villa Jr. said, The 9th Asia Pacific Regional Scout Youth Forum will give young participants the opportunity to express their views and make recommendations on issues of interest to them and to develop the skills necessary to strengthen their capacity to take part in the decision-making process of the global scouting movement. The course for leader trainers, organized by the World Scout Bureau Asia Pacific Regional Support Center, is considered the highest training for trainers. It gives the participants the opportunity to become course leaders who are capable of managing the training system of their respective NSOs. The Chief Executives Meets is also one of the highlights of the conference, where Chief Executives gather to share their best practices in facing the challenges in their NSO. Another highlight of the event, Villa said, is the announcement of winners of the search for outstanding APR scouts, where BSP will nominate one candidate who won in the search for outstanding Boy Scouts of the Philippines. This is the third time that the country has hosted the APRSC. The first one was in 1958, and again in 1978. The seven-day event is a gathering of leaders from World Organization of the Scout Movement, the umbrella organization of all scout associations around the globe. Craig Turpey, chairman of the World Scout Committee, said the conference would take a closer look at the governance of the scout movement in general. Scouting is investing in the future. We know that a healthy, engaged and active young population reflects the stability of the country. The BSP has been doing its best to help the government guide the youth to become law-abiding citizens and better leaders of the country, said President Wendell Avisado. Avisado also said it supports the call of the government to end the young people's probable involvement in drugs by coordinating with the Education Department and the Department of the Interior and Local Government, DILG. The DILG has issued a memorandum circular to local government executives to promote scouting in their respective areas, the Asia-Pacific Scout region recognizes pre Next, we are going to have the input session. So, dear delegates, observers, ladies and gentlemen, the next agenda is the input sessions, comprising of three topics, good governance, growth, and WASM fee. The first input speaker on good governance will be delivered by Mr. Jana Prit Fernando, was Scout Committee member, together with Mr. Malcolm Tan, highlighting the GSAT standards that is the benchmark of the good governance for all NSOs. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to be here, be here with you this afternoon and introduce 
my brother Malcolm Tan of Singapore, who is a GSAT facilitator of the Asia Pacific region. Uh, thank you all uh, for having me join it up on stage, uh, Janaprit. I'm equally happy to introduce to all of you my good friend, Mr. Janaprit Fernando, member of the World Scout Committee, who is also a GSAT facilitator for the Asia Pacific region. I'm looking forward to sharing this moment during the APR conference with you, Malcolm, and sharing together with every one of you about GSAT and the importance of good governance in your NSOs. I'm also looking forward to sharing more about the support available to all NSOs on this topic as well. Jana, could you explain a little bit to me about what GSAT is? Well, Malcolm, World Scouting is working hard to support its NSOs in building capacity to reach Vision 2023. To grow our movement to reach 100 million young people, GSAT is referencing our global support assessment tool, which we use to assess our NSOs and start them on a capacity strengthening exercise. So GSAT is something like Wersum's quality standard? Yes, exactly. That's great. Well, I've heard that Wersum's quality standard is based on international best practices from both inside as well as outside scouting. We've, it focuses on best practices related to good governance and quality scouting for organizations. You are correct, Malcolm. As a quality standard, GSAT has several criteria on good governance, which sets a benchmark for NSOs to assess their capacity and identify areas which need improvement. We always focus on areas which we are most comfortable, like adults in scouting and youth program, which are our core business in scouting. Don't get me wrong, brothers and sisters. These are both very important, but a strong NSO also needs a good foundation of governance and organizational management to ensure that it can successfully deliver a great scouting experience to its members. Before we continue, let's take a step back in time to when we first started on global support. Global support is now called capacity strengthening in world scouting. Our work on capacity strengthening of NSOs started as an initiative back in 2011 when the World Scout Conference voted on the strategy for scouting. We envision WISM's capacity strengthening approach, which is a cycle. Uh, which is a cycle that we follow that allows and takes NSOs through assessing, assessing their capacity, prioritizing the actions to be taken, receiving support that is tailored to your needs, and finally monitoring the progress that uh, to be made. If we look at closer, first step of assessing capacity of NSOs, the work in the area originally started when Vozum began a partnership with SGS, uh, chairman referred to this morning. The world's leading inspection, verification, testing and certification company, which has a well-proven track record in government and non-governmental organizations audits. The process to assess NSOs was initially tested through the use of a SGS-owned NGO benchmarking standard. Ah, yes. I remember well those days when we had the SGS NGO benchmarking audits. They started in 2012. A couple of NSOs took part from our Asia Pacific region, including my own. You remember well, Malcolm, and from this experience, we wanted to create an organizational quality standard that was specific to scouting, focusing not only on organization and good governance best practices, but also on topics specific to scouting. This is when Vozum's quality standard, GSAT, was created in partnership with SGS, providing NSOs with a tailor-made tool meeting international standards. You know, as we assess more and more of our NSOs through GSAT, we are starting to gather some really great insights on where we stand as an organization. These insights have helped us over the years to inform what support NSOs really need and what World Scouting needs to do better as an organization. You are correct. GSAT has been a great tool to better guide our actions. In the current World Triennial Plan for 2017-2020, we have incorporated some GSAT learnings by making strategic objectives on good governance for items like inductions of national boards and financial management of NSOs. Jana, I also remember reading something about assessing our NSOs in the World Triennial Plan. Can you tell us something about this? Thanks for asking, Malcolm. Yes, there's an objective in the World Triennial Plan that refers to the assessment of NSOs. Our aim, my dear friends, is to ensure that 75% of NSOs have assessed their capacity by 2020. 75% is a really great goal to aim for. But Jana, do you know how many assessments have we really done to date? I'm excited to share with you that to date, we have completed 105 wow. assessments using GSAT. Some NSOs have completed multiple assessments, though 
So we have currently assessed 50% of our NSOs. 50%? 50% is a great achievement towards achieving 75%. I wonder, out of this 50%, how many NSOs have completed the GSET in the Asia-Pacific region? Now, can all of you help me out? Uh, if your NSO has used GSET to assess its capacity, can you please stand up? Uh, all those who have gone you? through GSET. Please, please stand, stand up. up. I know Singapore Scout Association has. Oh, Scouts can of we all India. give a big round of applause? Come. Please give it a warm, a warm round of applause. <laughs> we NSOs are... which have gone through uh, GSET in our region. Well, we done. salute them. We salute you. Congratulations. We salute you. This is a great motivation to all other NSOs to go through this important assessment process. Talk to them and they will tell you what it is. Yes, we encourage all of you to undergo a GSAT assessment. Janaprif and, uh, mentioned earlier that there are multiple assessment methods. Janaprit and I will tell you a little bit more about these options. There are three of them, actually. Well, first, we have the GSAT audit, which I'm sure you're all aware of. A GSAT audit is a third-party audit where an SGS auditor comes to assess your NSO. We also have a WUSM assessment or a second-party audit, which is conducted by a trained WUSM assessor. Finally, your NSO also has the option to do a GSAT self-assessment to assess yourself the capacity level of your own NSO. These are the three methods. Wow, it's great that we have so many types of uh so many assessment methods. It really makes GSAT as a capacity strengthening tool available for more NSOs with a variety of options. These WASM assessments actually sound quite friendly. Huh? And they are conducted by trained volunteers and staff from within World Scouting. Of course, these are our own people. And they know all the ins and outs of scouting. And they want to be there to help your NSO to get a good picture of the capacity of your NSO and how to help your NSO move forward with even greater improvement. Of course, these WUSM assessments are a great opportunity to assess even more NSOs in our region. If this sounds interesting for your NSO, please make sure you yes. talk to us yes. after the plenary input today. Additionally, the GSAT self-assessment method allows all NSOs easy access to the tool to better understand WUSM's quality standard. You can do an initial assessment yourself before heading towards the full GSAT audit or WUSM assessment. So, or you can simply use the GSAT self-assessment tool to monitor your process and capacity strengthening measures you can take for your NSO. Thanks, Malcolm, for sharing. Everyone here will appreciate knowing that there are GSAT self-assessment guidelines available with many supporting resources to help go through the process on your own as an NSO. But maybe you want to do a GSAT self-assessment but need some support along the way. Just reach out to GSAT service team and one of our trained GSAT facilitators can be assigned to help you to complete your assessment. Now, do you want to learn more about GSAT? Do you need help to undergo one of those three options that Janaprit and I have mentioned? If so, then please visit the GSAT service page at services.scout.org to access all of the great resources that have been created. You can get individual support or you can request to take an assessment once you're ready. In APR, 13 out of 27 NSOs have currently been assessed and we can see the average regional score here. Against the global average scores from GSAT audits and WUSM assessments, hats off to APR for having an average capacity that is above the global average and above the average for majority of the GSAT dimensions. Can we give ourselves a round of applause for that, please? Now, in particular, I can see from the screen that we in the APR region can be proud of our capacity in these areas. Youth program, resource allocation, financial controls, and adults in scouting. Really, well done. Good work, everyone. However, it is clear that through this, we still have some areas for improvement. And particularly in the governance framework, integrity management, and continuous improvement dimensions. We can all learn from each other and be inspired to do our best to continue strengthening our organization to help grow our movement to reach out to more young people. Malcolm, do you have any good examples of best practices that uh, you can share with everyone? Uh, actually, yes, I do. But before that, I have to make a conflict of interest declaration. I've heard of a great successful story from an NSO called the Singapore Scout Association, of which I'm a member. So I must declare that there's a conflict, yeah? So anyway, doing a GSAT assessment helped 
the, the Singapore Scout Association to identify that they could make the conflict of interest process stronger within their organization. Since then, they've created a more robust process outlining in detail several potential conflict areas of interest, conflicts of interest areas, and when they should be declared. There's also a good process to track these conflicts of interest. In fact, I heard that my NSO even, actually I know because of one of them, my NSO even shared these best practices with all other NSOs during the NSO showcase in the World Scout Conference in Azerbaijan last year. That's a great example, Malcolm, of NSO learning from the experience of GSAT and building their capacity. This success story from Singapore made me remember a best practice I have heard from Scouts Australia, where they implemented a few years ago a national governance committee to act as the internal audit committee to review financial controls and use. This is an important practice to implement for all NSOs and we congratulate Scouts Australia for taking this good governance step as an outcome of their GSAT assessment. By the way, I was a facilitator for both those audits. Yes. <laughs> Another conflict of interest declaration. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, we saw earlier on the GSAT results graph that we can all do better in the governance framework dimension and to increase our capacity in good governance overall. We wanted to take a moment to share with you about the work that has been done in this area and the support available to you from World Scouting. Jana? First of all, we have financial management support that is being developed with the support of the Asia-Pacific region with the work that has already been undertaken on this topic. This work on financial management of NSOs is evident in APR's above average GSAT results in the resource and financial controls dimension. We thank APR for these good efforts and progress. Uh, this is really great, Jana, to see that we can really provide some helpful input and resources to NSOs so to help them better manage the funds as organizations. I also heard that quite a big chunk of work is being done to pull together induction package for national boards. Is that true? You are right. National boards are in place to provide strategic direction and ensure that decisions of the General Assembly are carried out. It is important that national board members fully understand their role and responsibilities and how this supports good governance of the organizations. I'm happy that we are working to develop such a resource to help our NSOs on this topic. Well done. And lastly, work is also being done at the global level on strategic planning, monitoring and evaluation. The strategic planning kit our toolkit for NSOs is currently undergoing a review and update, and an e-learning course is planned to be developed. So watch this space, you'll get more tools. This work you talk about on strategic planning is a great link with GSAT. After GSAT assessment, NSOs identify their strengths and areas of improvement. These areas for improvement help to create an action plan which can be integrated as part of the NSOs strategic plan. GSAT is an excellent way to best understand the situation of NSO and key activities that need to be undertaken to not only build capacity against Bosom's quality standard, but also achieve your NSO's strategic priorities and growth. So now that you've learned about Bosom's quality standard, or otherwise known as GSAT, I hope you have gained an appreciation for the need for good governance and an NSO. You've seen an overview of the capacity of NSOs in APR some of which are doing very well. You have been made aware of the areas that need improvement, and you have lastly learned a little bit about the support and resources available to help the NSO on the journey to growth. Now is the time for you in the NSOs, the top leaders, to get involved and to help World Scouting reach more young people through strong organizations. Thank you, Malcolm, for this great overview. It has been great to share alongside you all this information about GSET with everyone here at the APR conference. It was my pleasure, Jana, to do this presentation together. We have shared a lot of information in this short presentation, but I hope that everyone has gained some helpful insights into Vuzam's quality standard and are motivated to learn more. Please talk to us during the conference if you have any questions on GSET. And don't forget to check out our...